Actually, I just realized I could have muted myself because it mutes me anyway when it plays that video over there. Man, it's stupid Michael so. is what it is. It's stupid Michael is what it is. <laughs> but do you really think that it would have worked that way? Because I oh, use no. it before and I don't hear it. Anyway. Hi, guys. Hey. To <laughs> How's, <it? laughs> How's everybody doing? Always tinkering with something. That's for sure. Hey, today we're going to talk about StreamYard. Inside StreamYard, some of the cool stop. uses. Some stop of the cool right there. Go ahead. No, Go ahead. stop. Go ahead. Stop okay. right there. Because this, I haven't, I've got to. Dave, <laughs> yes, man, you are the best. I've wanted that for a while. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. And then finally, like at least a minute later. <laughs> Dave, you're the bomb, dude. You're the bomb. You are the bomb. <laughs> hey, I wanted to uh, express how much I really appreciate people uh, checking out, watching the videos because it's a big deal. Uh, I know that I'm trying to help people, get people out there trying to learn some of this stuff. That's what we're doing today. I mean, we're we're talking about StreamYard, how you can use StreamYard to <clears throat> do a private session, maybe with six people, because six is about the only amount that you can bring in, and also to test StreamYard. Some people need, I think it's important, especially when you first use a product, to be able to test it. So we're, I'm going to show you that today. We're going to go do an unlisted YouTube video. I want to see something real quick. So if, if I put myself on screen, yeah, so I get a bleed because it's showing the it shows Heather and that shows that. What I might do here, I might um okay, here's what I'm going to attempt. No, that won't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was trying to think through the process of how I could keep that up. You're just gonna see that bleed screen. So whenever I show the bottom window, when I show you inside of StreamYard. Just keep in mind, okay, please keep in mind that this section over here or this section that I'll square off right here is where I'm supposed to be. It's going to be a, like a big mirrored bleed, whatever, and all that kind of Hold stuff. Hold on one second. I'm going to just let them see that a little bit. No? Okay. That does not work. That's a, it's all right. <laughs> That's all right. So if I'm fully on screen, which I'm going to be, so if I'm on screen, you're going to see this bleed area right in here, okay? So... If I show you right now, this is all not really supposed to be here. It's just a mess. Okay. Don't worry about that. I'm going to show you these areas. I'm going to show you these areas and stuff like that, showing you inside of StreamYard and then some of the tools and some of the things I'm going to be doing. So you'll be able to see all that. So, sorry, that's just the way it is. <laughs> I should have probably done you some. Can, you know what? You know what? I hmm. wonder if you could, I know we should have done some uh, screenshots, but yeah, I screenshot. wonder if you could put a box since you can draw, can you put a box over that whole section so that it doesn't confuse folks like a solid colored box? I can't do solid. I don't think that's a great idea though. Great suggestion. Great idea. Then I could just leave the two windows open. Mm hmm. Yeah, because then that way they can see the whole platform and stuff like that. So we have, let me, um, let me, this is awesome. This is why we, oh, go ahead. Well, and we what I like too is that you're talking about, you're talking about how to show your screen and demonstrate StreamYard. Like people want to do this all the time. So uh, without yeah. using screenshots. So nothing like walking into the middle of a conversation. And that's in reference to us getting started here today. Dave says, I know the pecking order and he is a smart, smart man. So Richard <laughs> is also here in like Flynn or like Andy either way. And right. uh, so he makes it messier. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm doing? yeah. And Jules I'm just, is there. I'm just Yay. doing a bunch of bunch of little squares. <laughs> yeah. This we can't see it. So. Oh, you can't see it. That's right. Okay. No, <laughs> and that's okay. So you can't see that lot. Hold on. Well, if you're I not the bottom one. Oh, okay. Let me do this. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you can't see that then. Can you? I see. Okay. Well, let me try something. Let me try this then. I'm going to try. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Hold on. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, so if I did something like this, this is what you're talking about, I think. Let's just see. Oh, almost. Oh, almost. It needs to be solid. Almost. Let's Hold on. It. That's all right. Oh, there you go. Box over box over box. It's not bad <laughs> to see it because others may see that when they do a live stream. Exactly right, Richard. That's true. That's it's a good point. It's kind of weird to see myself like Inception. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't like to, I don't like being in front of the camera to begin with. So this is really weird. <sighs> so there I'm moving. Oh, there I'm you go. I was wondering why it was off the side a little bit. Now you got to yeah. move all your little boxes. <laughs> I can't do that with this software. <laughs> this is fun. What a great time this is, huh? Tinkering right, just, with crap. Let's, let's just pretend <laughs> that this is something that it's supposed to be. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really cool. So there, there you just made it. So the person, okay, so this is to explain to everybody else out there watching, the person in the red box would be the host. See? <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. And the only problem is, is when I switch screens and go over here, there's going to be a red box. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'll really mess it up. Watch this. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all good. This is fun. I love this tinkering stuff. This tinkering stuff can be lots of fun. And you can't see me taking a drink right now. So that's not fair. I don't even have mm. a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and if I get up and leave right now, it's totally obvious. <laughs> all right. So, so even if it's me only, it still doesn't come back. Oh, no, it does. Sort of. Oh. No, it doesn't. No, no, it disappeared. So that's good. Yeah, but that's only if you go. <laughs> There's a red square. <laughs> it wasn't on our screen. We couldn't see it. So tinkering with ticky tacky boxes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. I'm going to go with what Richard said. I think that's the best is to just let you see the bleed through because I want you to, this will be a test for you. So you can say, oh yeah, you're right. If I'm doing this and I'm going to have this issue. So that's a, the first that was the first lesson. Okay. So let's put a, well, there's going to be questions at the end. You have to pass a test. Oh boy. So, no, just kidding. So what I like to do is I like to, when I'm creating a uh, stream yard. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into uh, um, my free account because by doing that, I can go into um I can show you, I can't go, like right now, I can't show you on screen to leave studio because I would go away. <laughs> so don't really want to do that, do I? <laughs> um, here we go. Let me go to, I have to get this ready. You can go ahead and if there's any comments, you can put those up or whatever and all that. If there are any, I don't know if there are any. I can make up my own comments too, you know, like. Yes, um, you can. The, I will say, you know, this is really kind of cool because the times that we're in right now, we are all trying out technology like we never have before. And it is so cool that it is allowing us the ability to reach out more than once a week to be able to, you know, do these kinds of things together. It's actually kind of cool. And yesterday was a lot of fun because we got to hang out after, you know, the the episode after what what I don't even know what we call them. Your tinkering <laughs> session, tinkering. That session. was that was the uh, Zoom one, right? That was yeah. excellent. If you hadn't, if you haven't used Zoom or haven't tried Zoom, etc., and all that kind of stuff, you need to because that's that's a pretty cool one. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it was really good. It was good to be able to see Zoom in action and be able to see it with multiple people in there, and for you to show mm -hmm. us um, what it looked like all the way around. So that was really, really kind of cool. Yeah, very, very helpful, useful, et cetera, all that kind of stuff. All right, here, I'm going to show you my bottom window. So now I've got this set up and we're here. Um, so here's what uh, StreamYard looks like inside, okay? So this is what it is whenever you have a – this is my free account, okay? This is just me, Michael D. I can stream to one place because I have a free account. I can't stream to multiple. don't really have any past videos because I don't do a lot here. But I can enter the broadcast studio. I can create a live stream. I'm going to create a live stream. And what I want to do is I want to stream to my YouTube channel. But I want to do this instead of public. I want to do it unlisted or now, why would you private. do it unlisted? Okay. Why would you do it that way? So unlisted, this is, this is the whole reason for this video here to show you today. The reason you would do that unlisted is because... What I want to do, what I want to get out of it is I want to be able to have, um, hold on one second. I have to, okay, good. Okay. Um, 
I want to be able to test this. I want to be able to, I want to do it unlisted. So it doesn't go out of the public to everybody that subscribed to my channel, but it's a video that I'm going to actually share with you, Heather inside here. So that way you can see um, the unlisted video as well. And you're able to give a comment. You're able to put a comment because you can go out to that YouTube channel and put a comment so we can all test what the comments look like, how to test internally without actually going live, but you also can go live on an unlisted and get the recording. So that way you have the recording of what you tested so you can show someone else. So this would be a really great way to practice being in yes. front of the camera because a lot of people are in front of the camera today, this week for the very yes. first time. Like they never thought they would ever do this kind of stuff. So that's a great idea. Um, we have a couple of new people have joined us. So Warren is here. Hello, hey, Warren. Jolyn. Jolyn, hey. <laughs> I love it. She always yeah. tells me she's from Hill and Head Island because it's right around the corner from me. That's so awesome. There you go. So you don't forget. <laughs> That's right. And Sheila says she has a student Zoom meeting at 320. Thanks to her tinkering with tech friends. So <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> that's awesome. Using Zoom. Way to go, Sheila. Yeah, that's awesome. It's totally awesome. So let's get back to the StreamYard. This is why, why you might use StreamYard as opposed to Zoom. Because StreamYard is limited because it's more of streaming service. But it's also, you can use it as a private teaching area and all that kind of stuff. And this is it's a way to do that too. It's a little easier. It's a little easier. It's kind of more intuitive because the buttons are pretty obvious. And a lot easier to uh, invite somebody in. Yes. 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 That's what I, that's what download. Keep that in mind. So yes. Richard says there's an actual test mode just get just to get used to what is offered in StreamYard, which isn't recorded. So this would be a way right. that you could actually right. practice being in front of the camera. So that's cool. And Andrew says, Mr. <laughs> Miller, are we all ready for our close up? So there you go. Now. Hit it. My, but my thing is, and, and Richard, you're right. They do have that, but it not being recorded. I love having the recording because I can, I can hand this out to somebody that's new. They're not sure what to do. They don't know how to get it and that kind of stuff. Um, so that's why I want to do this. And I can show you kind of, I'm going to share it in keep. I use Google keep. So I will be sharing this out in Google keep. So that way Heather, uh, gets it in her keeps you could actually screen share you getting it in keep unless you have something pinned that you don't want to show that i'm that's fine i didn't go over that before we started but i will show you what i do this is how i do it and get it to my uh friends or people or whoever you can send it in text email facebook uh messenger you can send it however you want once you get the link but i'm going to show you how to get there and get to all that let's get to that point all right so here is uh, uh testing no you're all right Oops, sorry. Testing, that's, all right. that's all right. Testing StreamYard for the first time. Oops. I have no idea if this is spelled right. That's okay. For the first time. You can put a description if you want. It's unlisted. I can schedule it for later. Um, I don't need to schedule it for later. I can, well, yeah, I can do that. Let me schedule it for later just be, so it doesn't do right now. Let me do uh, four be my time so it's going to be for 25 create broadcast and i can upload a thumbnail right here you can do all of this so if you wanted to put something in there i can put my tinkering with tech logo i can put that in there boom I can add that size it up boom all of this. this is all on the free version so you're seeing on the free version what you can do and what to do if you're doing that oh look at there i have to put this up yeah go ahead oh, go ahead <laughs> hey michael <laughs> great to see your live stream oh, there you go i'm I met him today. I met him today when we were both in a class uh, for live streaming pros. So that's awesome to see you. Yeah. Fantastic. Great to see you. Thank you for joining. So, so stream you. So then I can create the broadcast. Once I create the broadcast now, let's give this a little bit of time because it always takes a little bit of time to render out and that kind of stuff. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so there it is. Here's testing with StreamYard for the first time. This is really the splash screen when you come up. So if I were to leave, or let's say I wanted to go to StreamYard again, I can log in. This is what's going to come up. It's going, I'm going to see my broadcast, and I'm going to see my destinations. I have two destinations set, and then I have my broadcast. And then you can see my, my event. Mm -hmm. you, could have, you could have done that yesterday and had it ready for you to do it today. That's right. Right? 
Yeah. You could have had yep. it set in your wedding. You and can then see when it's done. created and you can oh. see when it's scheduled. So you can see both of those. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? So I created it, let's say yesterday, like you said. So if I created it yesterday, it would be right here. And then mm-hmm. if I was scheduling it, I could get, here's, it's going to tell me when it's supposed to go live. So that, exactly. I have more options here. Let's say I wanted to view on YouTube. This is where you would go get the link to share with Heather, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm Are going to over watching. Huh? Are yeah, you that's fine. That watching. Yeah, it's fine. Why you don't want me to? <laughs> well, I didn't know if that's what you wanted to do. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. So, okay. So it says I'm going to YouTube. Boom. StreamYard's trying to get there. Now I'm there. So all I do is I copy that link at the top of that. Uh, that's how I would get that link on Facebook. You would do the same thing. Go get the URL, come back. I'm going to go to, let me find my, uh, let me find it. It's here. I'm going to bring this down on screen. So here's my, here's my, Google keep. I'm going to create a new note. I'm just going to put the link in there, hit close. So that's in there. I'm going to share that link right here with Heather. She's a collaborator. I have whole videos on this on, um, it is craft shack at Gmail, right? I'm sorry if I'm sharing that out to everybody in the world, but you know what? You're going to get some new fans hopefully. So yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't even think about that. I don't think about it, but that's right. You right. start blocking people. So now she gets it. So let's go to her screen and see if okay. she gets it. So I should have thought about this. We should have done counts that uh, are not. So hopefully it shows up. There, there it is. is down there. There it is right there. So now she has the link. She can go click on that. She can hit control and click on that. Actually. I just, oh. Hover over it and it says, open yeah, link right there. yeah, there you go. I just making sure it opens in a new tab. Always hit command. So there, there it is. And she can put a comment in, but before she puts a comment in, what I want you to see is I want you to see our two windows side by side. Oh, you can't, can't show. Her. I'm sorry. That's right. Can't show the two of those. Maybe we can hold on. I'm going to try a trick here. Let me put, uh, I'm going to try a trick. Let's <laughs> see if it'll work. No, it won't. Okay, so we can't. That's what I was trying to think of doing. Let's see if that works. Yeah. Okay, so when I go enter into the broadcast studio, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> see, you know this better than I do. <laughs> sometimes, not always. Sometimes. I, I know. My camera and presenting. video. Presenting. That's, right. that's the easiest thing. My camera and video are being used by something else. Allow them. I certainly will allow them. There we are. I'm going to put in here, Michael. This is how quick and easy it is to start a broadcast. Get in. There's my stream. Boom. I have this. Now, when Heather enters a comment, you're going to see Heather enter a comment on the right-hand side. So if you look over uh, where it says tinkering in, in the 5 p.m. Wednesday, she's putting in a comment right now. And then if you look over at mine, you're going to see on this part of the screen, it's going to come in and you're going to see it's a little bit. Yeah. She's, she's up there typing in way, way over there, but it's going to come in here, right in here, probably about right there whenever. So, and like I said, it's going to take a little bit there. Yep. Try not to move my mouse around too much, but I, want That's you to right. where I typed it in and where the comment is on the, Mm -hmm. I can actually pop this out, actually. Does take a while for YouTube. So while that's waiting and coming and joining and doing. Oh, that's right. There you go. You can pull the chat out. Another cool trick. She just taught everybody about pulling that chat out, actually. So uh, um, that should come in. I don't know why it's not yet, but let me just go over myself. I can view on YouTube as well. When I do this, I can go here. And I can see her comment. There's her comment. Let me go back over here. Why is it not coming? It's just taking forever. That's really it how it works with YouTube comments. It's kind of crazy. And it, it's not. There it is. Oh, there's Michael's. Mine. Well, That's mine. I just that? added one. Yeah. How come yours came in? It likes me. It doesn't like you. I don't know. What are you doing? It Try clearly to has not gotten the message from Dave. That's oh, there we go. There, there it is. is. Finally, oh, yeah. Heather's comment and hello. And I can actually bring those up on screen 
however I want. Uh, let me go over here to change the branding because I want this on big so you can kind of see this. Guy. I'm gonna uh, you can, you. yeah. So now I can bring her comments. So you get a chance if I, since I'm recording this un, unlisted, I'm not recording this unlisted right now, but all of this I can do, I can hit go live up here. And I'm not going to do that because I'm already going live on my channel, but I can hit go live and then I'll have a recording of all of this that I'm testing the sounds, making sure everything works. Um, I can share the link. I can invite someone. I'm not going to click this right now because I learned my lesson last time. I got uh, some spam <laughs> out there. But uh, so, but I want to show you so you can see on screen what we are talking about. So you can see all of the stuff. Right here, I have... This is where I can mute my mic. This is stop my camera. This is settings, screen share. Okay, so if I want to screen share, and here is where I would get the invite link. This little icon with this guy, and it says get uh, invite right on my page. Okay, um, that's how I could do that, and that's how you do that looking inside of a uh, of a StreamYard session, the whole bit. You can see everything. I can, one thing is cool is let's say I've streamed. Okay. Now not with the free version, but if I'm streaming to Facebook, YouTube and uh, Twitch, let's say, let's say I wanted to, you, this is a trick. I'm giving you, this is a trick, a bonus right now. Okay. Here you go. I'm going to go right here. How about this? I'll just put it on screen so you can see. I'm going to put bonus. <laughs> there, <laughs> there. I can type on bonus. Okay. And that's a bonus. What this bonus is, did you know that you can stop your recording of one of your channels while you're live? So if I wanted to stay on YouTube and stop on Facebook and stop on Twitch, all I do is turn those off, remove them, and I can stay live on YouTube and it'll stop going live on those other two. How about that? <laughs> there you Michael go. Woohoo. Woo bonus. <laughs> bonus. All right. Michael did have a question and I'm not yeah. totally sure. So I'm just going to read it. Did that, I did that on my first stream on YouTube with StreamYard today and got all my messages. So I guess it wasn't a question. He was saying that, but what was he meaning? Did that on my first stream on YouTube with StreamYard today and I got all my messages. Maybe the. No, maybe the delay. I mean, could he possibly um, be talking about the delay? Maybe that's the only thing I can think of. Oh, is maybe, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that makes may, sense. maybe that's what he's talking about is that he had the, that delay just like that, like like we did. Wow, his first live oh. stream was today for real. Awesome, Michael. That that's is that. awesome. Way to go. Fantastic. I love it. I think that's great. Way to go. It is. That's, that's, that's what we need to be doing, okay? So the key is... Oh, I see. Oh, yes, oh, see. yes, the delay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. You were yeah. right. You're right. <laughs> um, so, so the key is here what we learned today about live streaming. You can have up to six people. Okay. So I can have six people in here. Um, I can put uh, just like Heather and I can have. If we had, if we invited four more people in here, we can we can actually have ten total. You can have ten but only six of them show on screen, which is silly to me, but whatever is what it is. It's their, it's their tool. So if you have a large group or you're teaching, I know I've used the uh, stream yard for tutoring because I like to be able to bring the comments, especially if I record it, I can bring comments up on screen like we've been doing. And the, and the reason is, is because when you go back and look at that, you can see what you were talking about at that particular point. The other thing is nice is you can put banners up there. So you could actually have questions and things like that. Whereas Zoom, the video uh, program we were talking about yesterday, you could actually do polls and have questions for the students where they can actually answer. Really cool features there as far as teaching and you know that kind of thing. So can you go can you go back to your screen share of the um, one that you're doing on the other thing or yeah. did you stop it? Okay. Well, so, you mean this one? Yep. So okay. I know we've talked about this before, but one of the things that I said at the beginning was that it's a little bit easier to use than Zoom in the sense of just streaming capabilities. And mm -hmm. while you're looking there, 
underneath your picture are these are these um, layouts, presets, right? Mm -hmm. And I know we've talked about this in other videos, but since we're looking behind the scenes at a StreamYard and how you can put these together, I wanted to kind of go over mm -hmm. this. So like this is solo layout. So right now mm -hmm. in in our live stream that you and I are doing together, mm -hmm. I have you, I have put that button, pushed that button mm -hmm. to put your image on screen. So when I push the button that's next to it or just over a couple, yeah. And then, and then that, that that's one. the button she pushed. Yeah. And you can, yeah, you can so there's an identifier too. This lets you know that, Hey, you, this is the person that is solo on screen because you can have multiple people in here, but this is who's solo. And then go ahead. I'll click the other one. Yeah. So then that one, if I do that in mm -hmm. the stream yard that Michael and I are in together, I'm going to click it right now. Mm -hmm. And now here we are side by side, my camera, camera, one or two, doesn't matter. And camera two, the other person is side by side. Yes. So now you're not so, seeing it happen in his because he's the only one in that particular stream yard. Right. So now when you when you do a screen share, that would be the mm -hmm. last three buttons, right? No, last two buttons. Yeah. Let me let me do one real quick just so yeah. I can. Yeah. Let me put you full screen so they can see it okay. all. All right, so, so I'm going to share my how to share your screen. Mm -hmm. So here I, I can choose an application window, Chrome tab, whatever. This is great for students and things like that. You could have a um, a, a Google slideshow, mm -hmm. and you can put it right in here. You could actually have another bonus. Got another bonus. You could actually have a video that you from your computer that you drop into a browser window and pull that window up right here. Boy, I'm blowing people away. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's okay. So I can show an entire screen. Let me just show what I have five monitors. So I have lots of choices here. Um, so I can do that. I can do application. I'm just going to pull voice meter in just so you can kind of see that. So now you can see a screen share. So if you look, this is what Heather was talking about. Those little windows, right? This is the window that I chose this time. So now that's like a picture in picture setups where you can actually be talking to the camera and showing what you're demonstrating at the same time. Now, this box that you're in where it says mm -hmm. scheduled in the top and it has black around and all that, if you draw, yeah, that box is what is actually being presented to all of the audience. So mm -hmm. the audience is only seeing Michael's head in that square there and then the voice meter to the other side, which I could probably show if I opened up YouTube, <laughs> but you're not live. So I can't really show that, but right, I can't really show it. Cause I'm not live in that one, right. but, um, but anyway, so, mm -hmm. so that they can see that. And then if you want to screen share fully mm -hmm. the whole screen, you click that one and then voila, the whole thing is on screen. So I know that we've kind of gone over some of this stuff before, but I know many people watching today, this is like their first time seeing it. So mm -hmm. I want to make sure that we show just how simple it is to make transitions, real simple, real basic, very, very basic. Yeah, it was those last three. I thought it was three of them. Yeah. So yeah. I, I just want to make sure that people see that that's the difference, a major difference between St StreamYard and Zoom. Yes, you can do a ton of things with Zoom. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can do several things with StreamYard. Yes, when you combine them on a complicated scale, you can definitely do a whole lot of things. But I want you to see if you just chose one, this is what you would be doing if you chose StreamYard. And it's real simple to use. And then you're done. Great point. Excellent. All, all great points. I love the fact that during the show, you can edit things. You can change things in the show. If you wanted to change yeah, so the, if somebody uh, said, if somebody said, Hey, that you got the title wrong, you can actually go in and fix it. Yes. Live. Wow, that's it's crazy. so crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. I cool. Have no idea. And then, like I said, you can edit from here. Same thing. You can view on YouTube, edit, remove. You can remove certain channels and that kind of thing while you're in here. It's really, really convenient. It really is easy. It's simple. The other thing is, is when I send an invite out. So let me go back to me only. If I give Heather the invite, because now this won't be on screen. If I give Heather that I'm going to go get the invite, I can copy it to clipboard and I give it to her. I will give it to her that same uh 
um, in that same comment is that other one that I did that I gave you the other link. Let's try that. I give you that link and she clicks it. Now you're going to see her join in. Okay. So now we'll be able to see her join in without me giving any top secret stuff away. Um, I didn't want to give the link. So everybody, uh, doesn't freak out. You're going to see her come in and you're going to see her come in down at the bottom. There you go. See, she just came in down here. Now I'm not going to let her in yet. Cause I want you Are to you see. That the she, no, okay, I'm good. not. And she is muted right there. Now we might get an echo when, we, when I take you up and you're not muted anymore, but what's going to be cool is because of the setting that I'm in, if you look, if you look right here, this is the one I'm in, right? So I have all of us over here on the left and then the, the production or, or whatever is going on here, the screen share. So when I bring her in, she's going to come in right over here, probably below me or whatever. She doesn't like that. She wants to be on, you know, she wants to be the, the head honcho, but I'm sorry, Heather. There you go. There she is. So now she's in. She She's keeping it muted for me, which is great. That way we don't get those echoes and stuff. But you can see that we have the two guests there now. With those same three, it comes to me, the host. You can't bring the guest on. It's a feature request that has been given to StreamYard, but I know a lot of people want their guests talking while they're presenting. Um, so that is a feature request. But you can bring to here, to here, go back to here. Go back to just me. If you remember, we can click on that little box up here to bring up those individual people. So if I wanted to bring up myself, I can click on the one down at the bottom. Click on that. Now it's just me. If I do the same thing here and bring just click on this box, then she would come up on screen solo. And I can go back to the dual there. So you get to see all of that and how all that works. This is what she was talking about it being simple. You do have to hit some buttons. <laughs> I always like to say that. I mean, you you are going to have to, oh, here. And I can always remove her from the stream. If, I, if I'm if i ready to go into a different section, I can, boom, now it's just me, that kind of thing. Or if she's choking to death on camera. If she is choking to death, that's, that's not good either. So we showed you a whole lot of stuff, how to get people in, uh, how to, like I said, I just hit this invite button down at the bottom. Uh, there's a whole thing. I didn't share that with you guys because I don't want uh, spam coming in because everybody would have the link to that. There's a, a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff. There are features. There are some things. You have other things over here. We didn't go into great detail. I'm not going to uh, go into a lot, but I will show you real quick. There's banners that you can create and bring those banners on screen just like that. You can make your own. You can add tickers so you can say welcome. So if I wanted to just add that banner, I, I can, it just says welcome when I hit it. If I wanted to turn that, that exact one into a scrolling across at the bottom, hit save. You can see that when I click it, now it's welcome down at the bottom. Just, these are just some quick things, branding. You can add video. You can only add video to a paid account. So I couldn't add any video. So I can use StreamYards. I can't upload any logos. Well worth the paid version to get all the branding that you need. But anyway, that's StreamYard. One, Go ahead. One thing that I want to show, I'm going to mm -hmm. switch over to my screen. So now this is me sharing my mm -hmm. version or my my what I see backstage. So remember, he removed me. And you can kind of see down here at the bottom is my image down here at the bottom. And it tells me you're backstage. And you see how it's kind of grayed out my face is kind of grayed out down here mm -hmm. can everybody Definitely see can. that um that's showing me that i'm actually not a part of the stream yet so my sound my video nothing is being shown and next to it it even says you're backstage only the host can see you the host mm -hmm. may add you to the broadcast at any time so be ready and that's what i'm getting as a guest over here on the right you can see i have private chat and I have live comments, so I can see those comments, but I cannot do anything with them as far as bring them up on screen. If Michael and I had a conversation between each other, like, hey, is it my turn yet? He sees that over on his side, and he can actually talk back to me before it's my turn to go live or whatever. So yeah, let me, uh, sure I'm, you guys can see that. I'm going to go to my screen. So you can see an identifier right here. It puts up a little uh, colored one up there. It says that I got a new message. So I can actually go to the private chat 
when I go to that private chat, I can go here and I say, okay, give me a second. Second. Or whatever the conversation yeah, I know. Be, right? yeah, or whatever yeah. it is, I can sit there and have that. We can have that private chat discussion as we go. And then I can always come back to comment. So this is a learned thing to work through all of this stuff true. <laughs> along the true. side. But once you do that and once you know it pretty well, it's pretty, it worked pretty good. That was awesome. Thank you for sharing that uh, screen share of the view of a viewer. A lot of times we don't and, see what a viewer sees. So, and just so they see me down below here, I'm still grayed out. So the host can tell I'm still not a part of the thing as well. So that's, I just want to make sure everybody, yeah, right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, here's a statement or a question. This is a question from Michael. Do you Michael, do you use primarily? primarily or do you use a downloaded app like vMix? Okay. I have looked into vMix. Uh, one of the reasons that I looked into vMix because before I found StreamYard, I wanted to be able to post um, comments up on screen because engagement is so important to me. I want that comment to go up there and be up there. vMix has a lot, a lot of flexibility and allows you to change what that looks like and stuff. It is. And vMix, in my opinion, for all that I want to do and use it for, is extremely expensive. There are versions that are cheaper, you know, with 720, 1080, not 4K, all that kind of stuff. So to me, StreamYard, what it does, what it gives me, I can use, and I, I use a lot of things. I use StreamYard, Zoom, OBS, Voice Meter, all to do this production like today. Um, I use a program called Epic Pen to draw on screen. That's how you saw me drawing on screen. So I use all of those things today. That's how you see this background. I'm coming in with my OBS virtual camera. vMix, to answer your question, vMix would be the same as OBS, but OBS is free. And I've been using it for a long time. And I'm not saying uh, there is a place for vMix, but you have to have a very powerful system to run vMix to, to at peak levels and stuff. So you have to have a really, really graphics card, RAM, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that answers your question on that. To get back to StreamYard itself, this today was to show you that it can be done and what you can do and how you can use it for teaching or having six people and then copying and saving that. And actually, before you go live with StreamYard, let you see the results of what you're going to get. That's kind of what this whole uh, idea was today. And again, Heather, um, like yesterday, the Zoom one where we had all the Zoom people in and teaching that and teaching the bottom row of what, you know, all of the buttons in Zoom and all that kind of stuff. I love this yeah, comment from Andrew Burt had 45 in her Zoom this morning. First time I'd ever seen that many people live on screen, which is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michael responds with, I have OBS downloaded. So starting from basics and we hear that. And Michael has yes. done several videos on how to do this. There's a uh, many workshops as well that are available for our community that, um, that Michael has done the, it, OBS. Nobody I know uses OBS nearly as much as Michael does. And the kind of things that he's able to do with it. If you have questions, Michael's your guy. And if you join yeah. the community, the tinkering with tech community, it's $10 a month and you get hands-on help from Michael pretty much anytime he's able to. So, which this week seems to be all the time. Yeah. And, and we did that. We did, actually did a workshop where everybody came in this past weekend and we went over OBS and zoom and, and, and how to incorporate and get all these going together. I don't, act, you know, I do consulting personally. I do consulting. I'll meet with you. I'll teach you. I'll show you, but that's very expensive. It's like $95 an hour. I asked if you join the community and we can do it at our own pace and we can do that. And as you have questions, that's how I usually answer people. A lot of people ask that, dude, how do you do this? How do you do that? So, oh, and this, I guess this answers <laughs> this question right here. Can I send you an email query about this or ask you here? You can ask me here. This is fine. This is open discussion. But again, I I would love it. if Even if you join the community for one month, $10, just take $10, put, put it, join it for one month. And then if you don't like it, get out. You know, that's, I don't have, 
you're not going to offend me in any way. Okay. I, it's just our way of Heather and I do this. This is our thing. We buy StreamYard. We buy, uh, you know, voice. Me- oh, you don't buy a voice meter, but Zoom. we buy- Zoom. We pay for yeah. Zoom. We we for us to pay Apps for all those things. Our members have asked us to review an app before they buy it and mm-hmm. make sure that it does what they want it to do. So we try it out and. Um, turns out that's not going to work. Save them the money. They didn't have to deal with it. And we all learned something about whether that would work for what we wanted or not. Yes, um, exactly. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Oops, I, you put it on Did at the I same mean, time. I'm sorry. Right. Michael says, who couldn't love a guy named Michael with a shaved ball? <laughs> I mean, really, who couldn't? who couldn't? And JoLynn says, I'll review the weekend's video. So that's a uh, part of the community. And mm-hmm. it is available anytime. It's just exactly how it works. For 10 bucks a month, you have access to all that kind of stuff. So yep. yeah, yep. we'd love to have you join us. Even if it's only for a month, we're totally fine with that. Yeah. And I, and, and like I said, it's not that I don't want to sit, I don't want to sit here and teach and teach and teach and teach out here. And, you know, it, it's not like we're getting rich or anything like that. All it is, is for us to be able to, you know, like I said, pay for some of these things and do these kind of things. You kind of crack me up when you make that statement because I know I that know. is not happening. <laughs> no way. But it's all right. So this is what Andrew says that gives you access to all past workshops and daily tips over 200, mm-hmm. by the way. Uh, it's a great bargain for 10 bucks a month, whether you stay for, we don't even have a minimum amount of months. It's just one and you have access to everything. So anyway, well, only we- saying all of that. So that, that way people <laughs> can get all the benefits. Cause one of the greatest benefits, are we going to do this today? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on, no? hold on a second. Yeah? I just, oh dear. I just, I, I just want to show this because Andrew brought it up about the 200. Okay. I, I just want to show this. If I'm going to show a snippet of inside our uh, com- our tinkering with tech community, you can put me full screen if you want to. This is um, we just reached three hundred. We just reached really? three hundred three hundred tips in the private Daily community. Daily tip number three hundred. Holy yeah. smokes! Look at that. I know. I, know. I we think just like, you know what? Just for those <laughs> who aren't familiar, the t- the tips are really awesome because they're really really quick. I mean, really quick. Like blink and mm-hmm. you'll miss it. But the, the other cool thing is, is that he allows all of us community members to actually come in and be a part of the tip. So he records them and he has a link out there for you to join. You, there's a calendar with all the days and times mm-hmm. of each tip. And then you can join and be a part of the live action recording of said tip. And then you actually get to hang out with them afterwards and ask him more questions about it. So if he gave you this really quick tip, whatever, and then you're like, yeah, but what if I wanted to do this? Just wait till he's done recording. And then <laughs> voila, you get to actually pick his brain. So it's kind of a cool, super cool thing. And he does, do you really do them every day? Every day that we don't have a show. So like I'll do one tonight. Tonight I'll do one. I think it's at seven o'clock tonight. I do one on Monday, Tuesday. Like, even though we're doing these shows, you're still oh, doing yeah. Only day I don't do it is wow. Wednesday. I don't do it Wednesday in the weekend. So I don't do it Wednesday because we do our show every Wednesday. But even the game show night, I'll do one before the game show. I, I go and I do basically, one, so. basically the man cannot help or, himself. Or. He must do helping <laughs> at all times. Yeah, at all that's times. Right. That's right. <laughs> there you go. I'll show you. This is in our community as well. We have the back uh stage pass. So after this show. Any community member, we'll put this out there and they can come into the backstage pass and come in and chat with us. So, which yeah, that's this, where this I was headed to is being one of the most awesome. <laughs> anybody else agrees with me or not, I don't care. I think it's <laughs> great that we all get to get to get, to get together mm-hmm. <laughs> as a community and uh, ask questions, chit chat, talk about our day, and really just help each other with tech. So, it's quite a lot of fun. And I'm grateful <laughs> for that. Hundred percent, awesome. Hey, listen, I don't want to make this too long. We've already gone pretty got pretty okay. good bit here. I know, I know. It ne- never fails, never fails. But anyway, thank you everybody for showing As up. If you come back, app. if you come back and watch this, and I, did I just have that sound come on? <laughs> Sorry about that. I hit something by accident. If you guys, <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> this is what I love about live uh, broadcasts and shows like this too. Stuff just happens like that. If you, like she said, if anybody wants to join, that's great. If you're watching this and and you, you, the replay and you ask a question in the comments, I usually answer within 
I mean, seriously, five hours usually, unless That's I'm out on the baseball. Sleeping, yeah. Yeah. True. True. I usually don't answer. I probably do answer in my sleep, but I don't know what I'm saying. So <laughs> thank you folks. We appreciate you, Heather. Thanks for coming on with me too. That was awesome. Right. Tomorrow's show. Tomorrow's show is going to be a good one. You don't want to miss tomorrow's show. Cause we're going to be talking about tw uh, streaming to YouTube and Twitch and Miss Eileen's coming on. So I'm gonna so be, excited. Going to be a, Awesome, awesome show. So those of you in the Facebook air, air, uh, environment have probably seen Miss Eileen. She's very popular. Finally got her on. I'm looking forward to it. So she's a she's one that's been around a while and teaches a lot of cool stuff. So thank you folks for joining us. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to end this. Anybody that wants to come in afterward, we will have it in the, just look for the invite in the Tinkering uh, Member Hangout. We will invite you in. I will open up now to open up Zoom, and we will see you over there. Thank you. Thank you, Heather, as always, and I appreciate you guys, and we will see you next time. Oh, no sound. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> probably because it's the wrong one. How about if I hit the right one? <laughs>